Hi, if you're new, I'm Sienna. That sounds so HR, I hated it. I don't know how to say it not HR. Today, I am finally doing a full-blown Notion tour. My Notion is beautiful. Let's just preface this by saying that. So she deserves to be seen on a bigger screen. Oh, bars? So I thought, you know what, let me just show you how I organize, plan, and keep basically all of my life organized in one place on Notion. The jazz hands really sell it. I'm sure you know what Notion is. Uh, if you don't, I have no idea how to describe Notion, but if you know it, you know it. If you don't, look it up. You'll get it as you watch this video. It's just a place to do things. I'm gonna hate editing this video, I feel it. Okay, let me screen record vibes. I ended up creating an entire all-in-one life planner for Notion as a way to like organize your entire life. It's a life dashboard. And I did that because I wanted to just revamp my own Notion from what it used to be, which is nothing compared to this. And then I thought, I love this. Let's put this out into the world. So if you want this, you can get it. I will have the link down below. The only thing that is not in it is the content dash, which you can get that as a separate template, but I'm making edits to it. So I would wait. This is the homepage of my Notion. This is my dashboard. I called it Sienna's dashboard because that's my name. Here's the little navigation section. And then when you go inside of each of these, there's pages and everything inside of that. My Notion is full, full of formulas and this whole thing right here, the daily updates. It's just one giant thing with a fuck ton of properties and it analyzes the data and all the entries that you have within your template. And then it gives you like daily updates and real time updates on everything. It's very fun, very cool. It was probably the best thing that I ever thought of doing. Let me just real time show you. So, okay, let's pretend I didn't plan my planner for today. Bam, fill out today's planner. Oh, I planned it, planned out. Don't forget to review. Okay, it's done planned and reviewed today. I don't know why, but when you're screen recording on Apple computers, it always turns blue with everything, everything that you do. Like, girl, why? Like, it doesn't do this when I'm using it, but go off. There's the navigation. There's the little daily updates. And also you can uh, pick and choose what you want to show. So like, if you get this and you want different things to be at the top, go wild, go nuts. But that's basically just what I have to be reminded of. And then this is because I have a little profile card, which you'll see in the life vision page. And so it does count down to my birthday. I have my morning and night routine front and center here. And you can populate this every day and it will track, you know, your progress on it and stuff like that. I love the whole progress bar thing, but let's, cause that's, I haven't, I didn't do a single one of those things today. So let's not lie. Then you go down a little bit and we have today's planner. I have a thing where I can do the rating for the day. And then if I wanna add a photo, so like, you know, from memories to see over time. And then all of the stuff in here is just current views of all of these databases. First thing in here, start the day with gratitude. So I have my gratitude journal in my daily planner template so that I always do that in the morning. Then the next part is plan the day. And then I have my tasks and I'll show you more about the tasks when we get into it. And then there's my little time blocking. I didn't time block today cause you know, I just didn't. Today's events, this is just part of my main calendar, which you'll also see on the main page. And then today's menu, or if I had a weekly menu, there she goes. And then track today, this is fun because this is how I will track everything at the end of the day. So I track my sleep, uh, my water intake, my vitamins that I took in the morning and night, uh, and then health log, which is to track my moods, my symptoms, and then weight, step count, and then if there's any notes for today for like health. This is not how these look all the time on any of the pages. It's just how it looks when you're in your daily planner because it's the easiest to input information fast. And it's not really about being pretty here, but it's pretty when it shows you everything everywhere else. So then we have the workouts for the day or the workout for the day. It's cool because if you have multiple, it'll tell you if you've done one, but not the other, it'll tell you it's fun. I don't know. It's fun. I had a lot of fun making this and I, this is the best system for me because trust I have used notion and I've used things before for the longest time. And I have never found a system that worked for me. So I ended up making something that works the best for me and I have ADHD. So let's also preface that if you have ADHD, this is gonna be, this is gonna mesh well with your brain. And then today's transactions, this is connected to the finance tracker. Then at the end of the day, we have review the day. And I like to call this the daily review. So I write down today's highlight, today's small wins, a recap. Like if you're writing in your diary, like dear diary today, here's the tea. Or if you wanna full blown give the tea of the day, journal entry. If you just wanna like notes of what happened, recap. That's my daily planner. Then down here we have today's agenda and this is all of the tasks that are set to be done today. And then also the tasks completed today. And then over here, I just have like the databases because they all live in one place because all of the databases on my template, they're just views of the original databases that live in that page. So like if you delete anything, no biggie, no one cares because the main database is inside. I 
always accidentally delete things. So it's safe in its little home. Then we have current projects. I don't know why that's capitalized and these things aren't. So these are projects that are in progress. There's no tasks on this one, but this one's gonna put some tasks in there. Look at that, rehaul my content dash template. And then we have my daily habit tracker. So this is how I track my habits for the day. You can also see your progress on a daily, obviously, weekly, monthly basis. So you can see like the average percent you complete of your habits every day. It's, it's, I don't know, it makes habit tracking fun for me. Oh, I didn't do any of these, but let's cross them off because that's fun. Mm. But you can create a new one every day, but this is the view of the current day's habits. Then down here we have current planners. So this is the planner that I have for the week, the month, the quarter, and the year. And inside of these, I'm not gonna go into them because vibes, we'd be here for years if I go into every single thing in my Notion, but I have default templates to plan on those basises. Ba basis bases? What? Basises. Bases. Basis. What is happening? I, it's not even a word anymore. Then we have currently, and this is for what I'm currently reading and watching. Then we have the schedule, which is just the main calendar. And what's so cool about Notion is that they finally made it possible to integrate your Notion calendar with your Google calendar. Because with Notion, you have multiple, like a workout planner calendar, content calendar, your main calendar in Notion. That all can be seen in connection with your Google calendar on the app Notion calendar. Let's just show you. Look at that, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Like these things are all a part of my Google calendar and then bam, that is a part of my content calendar vibes. I have a weekly view of my calendar, but also it has different templates just because I like the different icons and I can also select the type of the category of what it is. If there's someone that I did something with, I can connect a contact from my contact library, which very cool because it'll tell you like the last time you saw someone, when to get into contact with someone, if it's been a while, their birthday, all this stuff. But that's where this comes from and that's how I can connect that. You can also see a monthly view of the calendar. Content calendar, I'm not gonna open that because I don't want to, but you'll see. I'll show my content dashboard and content calendar when it's done. So just know that I have a content calendar and I have a content dashboard and it's very in-depth like this, but it's not finished and I don't wanna show it yet. So that'll be another video. I can like do a whole video dedicated to showing you in-depth into my content dashboard. I don't know if I mentioned this or if it's obvious, but these are all just like snapshots of different pages within my my notion. It's just the easiest thing for me to put some of them, like the most important ones that I go to all the time on the front page. Then I have my weekly routines. I've categorized these by household, admin and planning, self-care, and then work related. So like my beauty maintenance routine to do throughout the week. And you can see them by category or you can see it by day of the week. Some things I don't plan to do on a specific day. I'm trying to dabble into having a weekly routine and doing things on a specific day because I wanna see if that will work for me. I have automations inside of this, which if you pay for Notion, you can do automations. If you don't pay for Notion, you can still use automations that other people create when you duplicate a template. It, you just can't delete them or you'll never be able to get them back, but you can hit pause on them. So if you don't want them, hit pause. Enough with the highlighting, but you can pause it if you want to. Don't delete it because you can't make it if you don't have paid version. So I went ahead and did the paid version so that I could do this and then everyone else can just duplicate it and use all the automations. But that's a fun little automation that I did. So whenever you check it, it'll show you, but you can obviously manually change this whenever you need to. But then when you recheck it, it'll redo the thing. But let's say I did it last week, done last week, did it the week before that. It's been a minute. Then we have the week's transactions and then this just gives you a report of like the income and expenses that you track the month. I didn't wanna do like all this stuff from the finance tracker because I don't care to see it right there. But also I haven't inputted anything into the finance tracker yet because I need to go over like all of my accounts and credit cards and all the things and put them in. Yeah, but I'll still show you everything in there because I wouldn't wanna show it with information in there anyway. So then we have my daily cleaning checklist and this is tied to the routines database that's up here, but all the tasks are set on a daily schedule occurrence. And so I created check boxes to just have like for each day of the week and then you can see the progress. So that's how I track, shut up. Actually, that might be important. I turned my sound on for a reason. Then we go down, I have my shopping list, which is basically my grocery list, the household items and toiletries. These are all from different parts of my Notion template. And then the stores is what connects them all together. And then I can see how many things I have to buy from each store and then inside of it, I can see specifically. So if I'm going to Whole Foods, I can just pull this up and be like, okay, I need to get this, this, and this from Whole Foods. There's the household items part. See, these are running low. I don't need them yet, but they're on there just so I can keep tabs. And then same with the toiletries. Then we have the workout planner. I can see it from a weekly view or a monthly view. This is just so I can plan out my workouts in advance. And then also I can track how often I've worked out 
on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. Then we scroll down and we have my meal planner. You can see it through the calendar view if it's a daily menu, so if I planned each specific day, or you can have a little weekly menu that it is of the week. Oh my God, enough. I like to do a weekly menu plan so that I can see like, okay, I have these options for the week because I don't stick well to a specific daily plan. I don't know what the vibes are gonna be that day. I never wanna eat. So these are from my recipe book database. So I can put that in there if I have a specific recipe for something or if it's just like a one item, like I bought bagels and I want those as breakfast. I can do it in the manual part so I can see both because I don't have a recipe for like apples with peanut butter for a snack. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I want to plan those things so that I can plan my grocery list accordingly, but it's not going to be in there as a recipe. Like it's a bagel. You know what I'm saying? I also can track my meals over here and this is all just the display of it, but inside of it, you can enter all of the information. You can enter it from the recipes database. And if you enter like the, the calories, the nutrition info with the recipes for a serving size, then it'll automatically calculate in here but if you had anything manual you can manually enter the nutrition info and also it'll combine both of them so if you did like some recipes you had from your recipe database and then some things were manual you can add the information so it will give you the total right there but i love that then you scroll down and we have the well-being section and these are all the well-being trackers so this is the little sleep log to track my sleep i've had very bad sleep lately oh when have I had good sleep though? And then I have my water tracker, was very not hydrated yesterday, it was sickening actually. But this works the same as like the daily habits. And then we have the vitamins. And I have a thing where um, both intake, you could do morning and you could do evening. And then what's soups fun about this is let's say, let's pretend it's nighttime and let's pretend I didn't check off that I took my morning ones. It'll say, you forgot your morning vitamins, girly. This is annoying, just get rid of it, turn it off, hide it but it's fun for me, I like doing it. So look, you took your morning vitamins, don't forget to take your PM vitamins. I use the term vitamins because I don't like the word medicine because some of them are supplements, some of them are like allergy meds. Like I don't like the word medicine, it just doesn't, it just doesn't hit. But I will say medicine cabinet, so they're all superfluous. But also, obviously you can connect from your medicine cabinet the vitamins or the meds that you're taking. I didn't take anything, so let's delete that. Then we have the health log. Don't look at the weight. I don't feel like blurring it out, but I am the lightest I've ever been. I've lost a lot of weight. Let's not even talk about it, guys. Let's do one for today. So when you create a new health log for that current day, if you didn't enter any symptoms, it'll say no symptoms today. This might not be relevant for other people, but for me, I deal with a lot of like autoimmune chronic shit. So it's really nice to have something tell you, you didn't have symptoms today. And then if I were to put the moods in, let's say I'm feeling hopeful vibes, it'll tell me what my moods were today. Let's add like, I'm excited. That's not true, but like, let's put it in there. So today's moods, hopeful, excited. Sure, no symptoms, but let's say I did have a symptom that you can choose from all of these or you can add your own. I am, I am having acne, um, more so than normal, so that's weird. Today's symptoms, acne. Let's get rid of it though, because I loved the whole no symptoms today. You could just manually enter your weight, manually enter your steps, and then any notes. So um, my step count was abnormally high and I wanted to tell myself like, hey bitch, that was because you went on a fucking long walk. I'll show you inside of the travel planner and all that stuff when we get to that page. And then I'm not gonna scroll down, but here is where I would have brand deals for if like they're pending, if they're in progress and I'm working on them, if I have to invoice a brand, if they've been invoiced and payment is due soon. I keep like a nice general little area for this on my main page so that I can see. Over on that other side, we have the content updates. I don't wanna scroll because I don't wanna show the other thing. Good, nothing is on that one. So we'll just hide that. I don't have any brands to invoice, so we'll hide that. But I have a little content updates. This is separate from the daily updates. And this is just all things relating to my content dashboard. But that is everything on my main dashboard. Yeah, that took me about a decade just to get through. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to go through this faster, I promise. So then we go into the life vision, okay? The reason that this hoe is smaller is, ooh, is because when I made this, I made it so that it was more accessible for more people and you don't want that to be all condensed. If I was to drag everything, the bar would look normal, but whatever. This is my life vision section. So this is basically all the things relating to manifesting, planning goals, vision board, planning your dream life type area. So life vision, <laughs> crazy, right? But then I also have a view for like areas of life with certain goals or with bucket list items. Daily updates that pertain to this section of my template. I have a view for in progress goals and then completed goals. And then this would tell you how many items you've checked off. So like, let's just open it. How many milestone markers you've hit and if there's any projects associated, but it would tell you, let's just show you because it's fun. So look, 
You have them set up, but you haven't hit any? No milestone markers hit yet. Okay, you did one. Look at that. One out of two. Let's do both of them. Let's make this bitch completed. Two out of two milestone markers hit, woo! And then I can move it to completed. And then it's gonna auto-populate the completed date and it's gonna pop up here. You reach this goal on April 12th, woo! And then the bucket list is also viewed down here and then it's also categorized by the different areas of life. And then you can see the ones that are completed uh, based on the years. So it's really fun. And then I put a little picture there and it'll tell you the date that you completed it. I'm not gonna show the lifetime goals in the bucket list page because they're basically the same as what the homepage is. It's just, just for those things. And we're trying to cut down on time here, but this is the my profile section. So you have your little profile card and what's so fun and super cool and super chill. This is the same for when you have your contacts library, but you can put your birthday in and then bam, it's gonna automatically calculate your zodiac sign, your sun sign, not the whole thing, obviously. And and then how many days until your birthday and your birthday countdown, how old you're turning. And this works for other people. So like how old they're turning and all of that stuff. Then these are databases from the bookshelf, the movies and the TV shows and anything that you've marked as a favorite will pop up in here. So you can just kind of see, stop doing that. I don't know, all of us are a little bit narcissistic and we love things about us. So this is like a page dedicated to that. I love it. I eat that shit up. Then we go to the planning section of my notion and I have a little home for my daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly planners. But I also have like the current ones for the day, week, month, quarter, year on this main page. And then I also have my main calendar on here too, because they, they just go hand in hand. You're planning your planners and your calendar. It makes sense, okay? This is my little planning hub, planning dashboard. But then if you go inside of each of these, let's actually start with daily. You can see a whole calendar view of all of your planners. And then you have the daily updates here. And I called it the daily review. If I were to give the day a rating, I would see it. Let's pretend it was great. Okay, sure. It would show me. And then I could see overall if I was having, you know, a great month or not. The same thing goes for the weekly planner, but you can see your weekly stats for certain things. And then I like to plan my weekly planners from this view because then I can just do a new one, leave it, and then drag it for the week and then bam i can go in the full view if i want to monthly quarterly and yearly they look the same there's no calendar view but they have you know those views and you can see the covers of it but you can also do a quick ad from here so it's like easy to add the dates and all that stuff in the cover then we have my productivity dashboard and i love her all of these sections of my notion they have like their main page with snapshots of everything that is inside of each of the pages and then we have task inbox which is just tasks that don't have a day that you're going to do them you don't have that set yet and you created it today so it's just a quick capture tasks and then down here is my work time tracker there's also a day view so i can just kind of see and quick add my time trackers from the day while i find it very hard to time block i really like to see where i'm spending my time so it is great for me to time track and to specifically see how many hours i'm working because i work in social media and i work from home hard to tell like oh yeah i clock in nine to five that's not realistic for me. So I like having a way to see how many hours did you work early? Like what's the, what's the stats? So that's fun. And then down here is the habit tracker with a whole weekly view and then morning routine, night routine, same thing. And then you can go inside of each of these. Honestly, there's no point in going inside of each of them because it's, it's just an in-depth view of each of those sections. So there's no point wasting time here. This is the routines dashboard. So this is like all of the routines because they are all in the same database, but like they live on, don't overheat again, girl. Let's not do this. Oh. Then we move on to the finances section of my notion. Nothing is in here because I've inputted nothing. But if you go and look at the specifically just like the finance template listing, you can see pictures of like when this is filled out because I did like example stuff. This is like a project. I'm going to go through and fill this all out, enter in everything from like January and get my finances organized but I want to make something that would keep everything organized because I want to be more organized with my finances. I'm organized in a lot of aspects of my life, almost all of them, but this one, no, it's just chaos and vibes. It has accounts, credit cards, loans, and then real time updates. So you can see for every transaction, like, okay, I've spent this much on my credit card this month, or my bank account has this much in it, or I've spent this much in my bank account. I've had this much income. Inside of here though, you have an accounts page, transactions page, income transactions, expense transactions, transfer transactions, subscriptions, bill tracker, budget tracker, wish list, financial goals, and reports. And then you can see like a little snapshot of most of that 
here. Then we move on to the life management section of my Notion. Basically just all the things that don't have like a specific category. They're just organizing your life in one place. It's like a dashboard for like life management. That's why it's, I called it that. Inside of this section, I have a household manager, travel planner, notes and resources, which also has notebooks. So different notebooks for different topics and you can put notes and resources and media and links and all that inside of the notebooks, or you can just have notes and resources based on whatever. Then I have the contacts library, which is like I talked about early. It's all for your contacts and it's a library of your contacts. Crazy. And then I have an entertainment library, which is for movies, TV shows, and podcasts, and then bookshelf, and then beauty. And then on the main page, it's a snapshot of most of the things, household product inventory. And then you can just add things or manage things from here, um, but you can see what needs your attention. Then my daily, weekly, and monthly cleaning routines are right here. Currently watching goes here. Should I just do it? Yeah. Okay, we're watching Blacklist and it shows watching because I entered it from that. Prime. Okay, yeah. Prime, love that. Um, I'm on season eight. Um, it is also a five-star show, so it automatically becomes a favorite. My camera's overheating again. Girl, we're never gonna get through this. It's gonna be 10 years later when this is done. This is actually ridiculous how long I've been filming this and editing me. I feel so bad. I don't even know where the fuck we are. Okay, this just has a snapshot of everything, like I said. And then upcoming birthdays within a month. Let's go into each page just quick quick just so you can see because they're all you know their own thing have all of my cleaning routines and then household product inventory and then decluttering tasks then we have the travel planner which love her she is very in-depth you can also get this separately just like the finance um tracker in here we have trips locations places to stay sites to see things to do food to eat honestly i could go in depth into a video showing you everything in the travel planner but i'll just show you the pages it's really cool i added all i think 195 countries countries that are recognized. You don't have to add a single thing in. I added all 50 states in the United States. I am unaware if there are states in other countries and I was not going to add them because that is just bad. That's a little too much, but you can add in new cities whenever and then just connect them to the country that they're in. This will show you upcoming items on an itinerary with a trip, past trips. You can see the countries you visited, the cities you visited, the countries you wanna visit, the cities you wanna visit. I forgot when I duplicated this, all the countries and cities that I marked as visited, they're not marked anymore. I gotta do that again. You know, had to be done because I updated the whole template. Anyway, and then if you go on trips, you can see someday trips. So these are trips that I wanna take that don't have a date on them. So they stay in the trip wish list. And then I manage my whole trip library from here. This is the locations page. Pretty self-explanatory. And then places stay, this is a whole thing of just locations that I want to stay at. So like Airbnbs, hotels, stuff like that. I have to transfer all the stuff from my old dashboard into this one, but this is where this stuff goes and it's really cool. And then you can check it off as you go and stay at these places, or you can connect them to a trip that's in your travel planner and you'll be able to see all the places that you stayed at. So it's kind of like a bucket list for places to stay and same with the sites and same with the things to do, which is activities. And then the food to eat, which is food locations. Same exact thing with the sites to see. Exact same thing again but with activities and things to do. So like specific things, like I want to do a cooking class in Italy. That goes on the activity bucket list for travel. Then the last one is food spots. And this is restaurants, cafes, coffee shops, and bars. Bars don't really count as food, but they, they're in that like industry. So that's where I would put them. And then let's go back to life management. I did want to go in to this page too. I'm not going to go into the notes and resources, the contacts library, but this is the little entertainment library. So movies, TV shows, and podcasts. I love it because I always wanted a place to keep all of the movies that I want to watch, the shows that I want to watch, podcasts I want to listen to in one cohesive place instead of a million screenshots on my phone. This is just so nice and organized to have everything here. And then I can also see when I've watched something. I will show you the bookshelf because cute. It's like a little Goodreads, but it's not. And then I'll show you inside the beauty page because we've got all this stuff. This is where I can manage all of the products that I have and a wish list and then product setup. And there's just so much to fill out. Like I love organization bags and this is just easy. Once you like enter shit in, it's done. That's why I need to like take a day to enter all the stuff and like anything that I'm missing. When it's out of your head and into your system, you can feel clear. That's why I really basically organize my notion like this. That is life management. Let's move on to nutrition. Actually, let's charge my camera because she's dying. She overheats and she dies. She's great. Then we have my nutrition section and it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got a recipe book, self-explanatory, keeps recipes and their ingredients in it. And then meal planner, meal prep. So if I am gonna be meal prepping to plan that out, 
and then groceries and pantry which i'll actually go into that page and then meal tracker which you've seen the you've seen that on the main page so then inside the groceries and pantry page actually this is really cool because it's essentially just an ingredients pantry so i can keep track of stock and then based on what i put like if i add how many i need to buy something like let's say i need to buy one it's gonna set its status to restock and then it's gonna go on my grocery list and then i have it categorized also by grocery store and then also this section or like this view of the the ingredients pantry is this week's menu so any menu that i made for the week or any daily menus that are in that current week it's gonna show the ingredients that are in those recipes and then the specific recipe that it's in so i can see like okay i'm planning to make these recipes this week am i out of this stuff do i need to buy it do i need to market to buy whatever and then this just auto populates my grocery list and then also there's ingredient categories because you can see things based on their ingredient category. So that's the groceries and pantry page of that, but that's basically my nutrition section. Pretty self-explanatory as well, but this is how I organize all the fitness related things in my life. We've got the workout planner here, weekly and monthly view of it, an exercise library. So I can do gym routines in here, classes, online workouts, and just save them. And then based on the workout categories or like the workout types, you can see how many you do or how many you've done in the current month. And then also if you wanted to, you can set a goal to for the month and you can see a progress of it on the side over here the sections that i have in here are fitness goals the workout planner exercise library and then challenges so for fitness goals this connects to those personal goals that are on that life vision page of mine but they're just in the health and wellness category and then also another view of those like monthly goals per workout type and then with challenges this is just like all fitness challenges and I wanted a place to keep this. And then the last and final section of my notion is well-being. I love her. So we've got sleep tracker, medicine cabinet, water intake, mood tracker, symptom tracker, and then journals. You've seen all of this stuff on my homepage because this is all the stuff that I want to track daily and just keep tabs on. This is their main home. This is like the hub just for well-being related things. And then you can see obviously more daily updates related to all of this stuff. Sleep tracker, water intake, you journals. I'm not going to go into those those are self-explanatory you're good but the medicine cabinet just like the whole skincare and beauty products i can see all of the supplements in my medicine cabinet and the ones that are also in my routine medicine cabinet is just like the cosmetics database so restock soon wish list and then in my cabinet just another view a weekly and monthly view of the intake tracker and then with symptom and mood you can also see it based on this week, this month, and this year. So I can see like how many times I was motivated. And then the same thing with symptoms, which this all came from a necessity thing, the symptoms, because I always have symptoms and I wanna be able to really in-depth track my health and see like, okay, I'm having a headache this many days. Oh, what did I eat this day? What did I do this? Like I wanted to keep everything in one place to be able to track things and like see the connection between certain things. And the symptoms function the same way as the mood tracker. Again, there's no data because I just duplicated this and it's a whole new one, but like maybe I should have probably transferred all of my stuff before I recorded this, but I was just too excited by it. That's my notion. I. I can't believe we actually made it through that and the camera didn't die again for the millionth time actually the eighth to be specific that is my notion tour that is how i organize my life in notion again i'll do the content dash in a whole separate video if you want me to do that let me know in the comments below if you don't care don't say anything i'm sensitive but if you want to pick up this template because this took me months and months of hours and hours and hours of making this it's very in-depth and it's very easy to use but it's very in-depth and shit took so long and if you don't want to make your own template which i wouldn't recommend because you can get one vibes if you want to get this one do it it's great there's also three different versions of this that i offer because if you're not as crazy organized as me you can get different levels of this and then i also have the finance tracker and the travel planner separate if you just wanted to get those because you're not like an insanely organized weirdo but if you're watching this video you're kind of already probably a little bit insanely organized so let's be honest i'll leave the links to my notion templates in the description box below but i hope you guys liked this video give it a thumbs up comment below let's chat and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.